Hello everyone and welcome to On Wednesdays We Wear Pink, week 103. For this week's Manny, I'm going to be using this amazing polish. Uh, first of all, I love this bottle. This is the cutest thing ever. At the tip of the bottle here, it actually does include a striping brush. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. It's not my favorite striping brush, but I have used it. Um, but this brand is actually Bose Before Bros, and it is called Raise Your Standards. I got this from my son and husband a few Christmases ago, and I thought this would be a great time to give it a shot. So now going in for the first coat of Raise Your Standards, this polish does apply very nicely. It is a little bit streaky, but not terribly bad. Now I have to say I was pretty impressed with the actual bottle brush. Um, I thought at first that it would be, although a very nice, pretty uh, polished top thing, I thought it would be a little bit difficult to use. However, it made applying the polish Perfect. I mean, I have no complaints about it. I like it. I like the, the design of the brush and I like the way the brush applies the polish. And I am just applying it to three of my nails. For this mania, I am going to do an accent nail. So I'm using Sally Hansen Insta Dry in White on Time. This polish is amazing. It is a total one coat white for me and almost a one swipe with that white brush. Very nice polish. Now going in for the second coat of Razor Standards does bring this polish completely opaque for me. And now using plate BPL003, I'm gonna pick up this really pretty rose. I'm using Raise Your Standards as my stamping polish here, and then just taking a piece of tape and removing any part of that design I do not want to put on my nail. And I'm just gonna apply it to my nail. Now using LA Colors Resentment, I'm gonna apply a dot of this to a piece of scratch paper. And then using Raise Your Standards, I'm gonna also apply a dot of that to the paper. And with a small dotting tool, I'm just gonna blend these two together to kind of create a little bit darker uh, pink tone so that I can create some shadow for this flower. So now with a small paintbrush and using that color that I mixed there, I'm gonna apply some shadows to this flower. I also did want that pink to show up a little bit more, so I am taking razor standards on this same small brush and applying that to the spots where the actual stamp was, so just making that pink a little bit more vibrant. Now taking Zoya's Nest, I'm gonna fill in the leaves. Although I think this flower is very pretty, it can always be prettier. So I'm gonna take Wet n Wild's White and Stormy and just apply a thin coat of this over that flower. I think it just makes it a little bit more magical looking. And now with Moyu London's top coat, I'm gonna seal this design in. And here is my final design. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it turned out really pretty. I really love that flower. I think it just looks great. And the depth and shadow that I was able to create, very, very nice. And plus with that little bit of shimmer to it, made it look even better. Please leave any comments or suggestions below and I will see you in the next one.